game, stocking up the games. So many new lovely games, so little time. Oh, hi ma'am, welcome to Let's Play a Good Game Gaming Shop. My name is Mandy, how can I help you? Hello, I am here to pick up a new Switch for my son, Jimmy. He's been into, what do his friends call it? Weeb? Oh, we don't call them weeb games here, ma'am. That's actually kind of a very derogatory term. Oh, my apologies, not weeb games, JRPGs. And he's been into that, so can you recommend me some good JRPGs to begin with? Because I, I really don't know anything about that, and I have a meeting in about ugh, four minutes, so can you make it quick? Well, lucky for you, I have a list for that, and a good one. Um, I might have to catch you back on that. Email me. Thank you, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Wait, you have to go? That fast? But don't worry, I got you on the list. I'll email the list. Bye. Have a nice day. Oh, you forgot your switch. Oh, she didn't even notice. Dang. Anyways, back to the job. Hi guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays. And in this video, I'm going to give you a list of beginner-friendly JRPG games. Ones that, you know, if you're not really in the JRPG scene and you just want to touch a little bit of it that might get you into it, then I have the Switch JRPG games for you and you won't want to miss it. So let's get into the video. I love JRPGs, they're my favorite genre, but I could see that a lot of people are put off by them because of their length or the story or the complexities of the battle. But I'm here to show you some games that are good if you want to start a JRPG adventure without kind of all the craziness going on or if you're new now all these games are for the switch but some of them i own as a playstation game but they're on the switch as well so no worries about that so in no particular order the first one on the list is bravely default 2 i picked this game because it is a very classic turn-based kind of rpg adventure the story while there is one it's not anything grand or adventurous it's a very toned down JRPG, but it's still really good. The gameplay is really easy to grasp. Now there's the white mage, the healer, the black mage. So there are terms that even people who are not in the JRPG scene might already know. It's also really fun. There is actually a first Bravely Default and a second one called Bravely Default End Layer. But this one is a standalone title. It has nothing to do with the other titles. So you don't have to keep track of the series of the game or anything like that. And I just think it's an overall good place to start, especially on the Switch. The graphics look nice and it's just an overall good start for your JRPG adventure. Next game I want to recommend is kind of a weird one and that is Xenoblade's Chronicle Definitive Edition. Now, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is where they get really extra with some stuff, but Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one, is a very good foundation to the series. So if you have any interest in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I would highly recommend you try out the first one first because not only is it the first one, it has a good foundation, it's very easy to grasp, and the story is very, very captivating and fun. So even though this is the first in a series, I still highly recommend it. Like I said, it's a good foundation for the series to come. And if you love it, then you have two other games down the line to look forward to. Next one is Final Fantasy X. Now, even though you might not really like JRPG and the whole scene, you might have heard Final Fantasy a lot, especially Seven. Freaking Seven is everywhere. I recommend Final Fantasy X. It's a good starting point. It has voice acting, which was new when it came out. The graphics look really, really nice. This is the HD remaster for the Switch, and it holds up pretty well gameplay-wise. This one doesn't connect with any other Final Fantasy game, except for Final Fantasy X-2, which is the direct sequel. Now, X-2 also comes bundled in with the remaster as well, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a good starting point. It has all the basics of a Final Fantasy. Now, I kind of feel obliged to say this, but another good Final Fantasy game entry point is Final Fantasy VII. Um, I recommend the classic since the whole game is right there. The only Final Fantasy VII on the Switch is the original, so if you want to check that one out, please do. It hasn't aged quite as well, but it's still very charming and it's a very, very good game. Speaking of Square Enix games, the next one is a PlayStation 4 game, but it's also on the Switch, don't worry, and that is 
Dragon Quest 11 Echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition. Now the Definitive Edition is in plastic, but I played the original and it was actually my first fray into the Dragon Quest kind of games. Now I'm not really that big of a fan of Dragon Quest to be honest because there's a lot wrong with it, but Dragon Quest 11 was awesome the gameplay is a classic turn base but with extra charms and moves the characters are really memorable except for the protagonist because he don't talk and i just really really fell in love with the world and what they did with it and it's really easy to get the gist of the game to get used to the controls and the gameplay so it's nothing too crazy where you have to learn this weird maneuver system. I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy VIII. This one is a classic. It looks beautiful on the PlayStation 4 graphics and even on the Switch too. But you know, PlayStation 4 one looks way better. But you didn't hear it from me. Anyways, it is a great starting point, not only for Dragon Quest, but for JRPGs as a whole. Like I said, it's very traditional, easy to grasp, and fun as well. And the story will have you like, dang, it hits you in the field when it wants to. <laughs> so, highly recommend. All right, so we're nearing the end, but not that end. So I would love to ask you guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, I would appreciate it. Now let's get on to the next pick. And the next game on the list is Atelier Ryza Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout. This is my gateway to the Atelier series, but as a standalone game, it still stands. And I loved it so much that I went out and bought mostly all the games in the series. <laughs> I have a problem. Anyways, this game is so fun. While the alchemy part might take some getting used to, it's pretty easy once you know. So while the alchemy part might look a little daunting, I'm gonna tell you right away, once you get the gist of it, it's, it's pretty basic and it's very easy. And it's actually one of the easiest ones in the series and I love it for that. But besides the alchemy, the gameplay is super simple. It has this action point turn-based combat. And it's good for people who don't really like the turn-based type of combat that a lot of JRPGs have and want something a little bit action-packed or more involved. Never seen it coming! I just had to. Uh, play, <laughs> play. Yes, Persona 5 is coming to the Switch and not just Persona 5, the Royal Edition. I played this game twice. I played the first one, then the royal one, and I'm going to play the one on the Switch as well, even though I own it for the PlayStation. Maybe, this is why I'm broke. Anyways, I love this game so much. It's a great entry point for people who want to get into the Persona series, and it's actually what got me into the Persona slash Shimagami Tensei series. I had to work my way backwards, then I played Persona 4, and then I'm going to play Persona 3. But this one was my first Persona game and my first Shin Megami Tensei type game as well. And I just loved it so much. Unfortunately, it's not available on the Switch just yet, but it's coming out soon and I highly recommend it. So there is your JRPG starter pack. Like I said, JRPGs are my favorite and I feel really passionate about them. So I really do love sharing JRPGs with you guys. If you have any recommendations for different videos, let me know. And please tell me in the comments below if you decided to pick up any of the JRPGs I recommended, if you played them, or any other beginner JRPG games that I forgot to mention in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. If you like my channel and would love to see more, hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you love this video, please hit that like button. It means a lot. Hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. And as always, play a good game. Peace, peace. Gotta remember to email that chick.